Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we are going to discuss how to run generalized linear mixed models in SPSS. Generalized linear mixed models are an extension of generalized linear models that incorporate both fixed and random effects, allowing for more flexible modeling of the data with complex correlation structures or hierarchical grouping. They handle various types of response variables such as binary, count, or continuous data by using appropriate link functions and error distributions. GLMs are particularly useful when dealing with nested or clustered data, where observations are not independent, as they account for within-group correlations and between-group variability. This makes them a powerful tool in the fields like ecology, medicine, and social sciences, where data often exhibits such multi-level structure. Now let's take one case study. In this case study, we are interested in analyzing the effect of training program. So these are the training, the, this is the training, the column for training, and this is a test score. We have 20 observations with students nested within the different classes. So these are the classes A, B, C, D, and E. The fixed effect could be the training program, treated and controlled, so binary. So here the variable uh, is binary zero for control and one for retail so those students who have undergone training they have been labeled as treated and those who have not undergone any training they have been labeled as control and the random effect the random effect is of the classes so the random effect could be the variation between the different classes so now let's see how we can do this in spss for this we will go in SPSS, see, see this is the same data set. Now you go in analyze, mix models and generalize linear. Now pick up the categorical variable which is class. See this is the categorical variable class and drop it into the subjects. Pick up gender categorical variable and drop it into the subjects. Training, drop it into the subjects. So the design is ready. Now click on fields and effects. In this, specify your target variable, which is the test score, uh, which is on continuous scale. From here, you can change the distribution. The target distribution can be changed. At present, keep linear model only. Now, click on the fixed effects. So here, uh, we are having an options of effect builder is just simply drag and drop it's amazing see we want to have the main effect of class that is the effect of class on test score effect of gender on test score effect of training program on test score so we will capture class gender and training now we want the two-way interactions also so what i'll do i'll pick up one two, three, simply I will drag it and drop it into the two way. So all possible combinations will be considered. Now I want the three way effect. That is all three variables together. Simply drag it and drop it here. So I can give, I can go for n combinations from here, right? Now I will remove all this. There is one specific reason for it. I don't want class to be in the fixed effects. I want to give the treatment uh, of random effects to the class. So again, I'll pick up gender and drop it into the main, pick up training and drop it into the main effects. Select gender and training together. This can be done with the help of the shift button on your keyboard. Now simply drag it and drop it in two way. Done. Now activate the random effects. If there are some effects which are already existing, remove it. Click on add block. In this, pick up class and drop it into the main. Click OK. Now go in build options. Keep the things as it is, check estimations. So keep the things as it is. Now go in model options. So here we want to uh, uh, compare. So that's the reason, activate estimates of gender training gender and training now in this contrast type 
pairwise comparison here also pairwise and here also pairwise now so this will be according to the agenda or you can select according to the training also now press run and the results are ready in the form of template double click on it so it gives me that it gives me the information about the Akaike information criterion and Bayesian criterion for the model. You click here. So this gives me the scatter plot. You can see the predicted value according to the model and the observed value, the original, original scores. There is a positive relationship between both of them, which is quite good. It means that the model is working successfully. Now click here. So this gives me the fixed effects, the effects of the variable on the test score, the thick line shows that the major variation is, uh, is from the training. Now what you will have to do, you will have to lower this button because this is at the p-value, uh, uh, this is displaying the, at the p-value uh, uh, p 1. Take it at 0 0.05. So now it will give me the major effects, uh, the significant effects, which are less than 0 0.05. So gender has got a significant effect on test score. It means that the test score of the male and female are significantly different. Training has got major effect on test score. It means that those students who have undergone training and those students who have not undergone training, their test scores are significantly different indicated by treated and the control group now again you click here just a minute uh, yeah here there is one more option in this click it click here and convert it into the table so now it gives me the significant sig value also so this is your output at the five percent level of significance you can get it at one percent level of significance also okay now click here and here you will see the positive the as uh, the coefficients are they positive or negative let's try to understand this gender is coded as one for male and zero for female training one those who have undergone training one those who have not undergone training zero so if it is blue it means that there is a positive effect if it is orange it is a negative effect now on, let's understand this gender equal to zero it means that it means that the female have got the higher higher test scores in comparison to male because gender is equal to zero and it is positive training is equal to zero so here it is negative it means that those students who have not got under undergone the training, their test scores are less than those who have gone for the training. This you can see further from the table. But before that, let's lower this and let's keep this slider on 0 0.05. Done. After that, activate the table. Now let's understand this. Gender equal to 0, 2.2 positive. It means that the mean test score the mean test score of females are higher than males by 2.2 training minus 9.4 this means that those students who have undergone training their mean test score are higher than 9.4 or in other words those who have not gone for the training their mean test scores are less than minus 9.4 this is the way we interpret now click here we will get the random effect covariances but the interesting part is here see the difference in the on the test score according to training so the control group and the treated group then see our into uh, uh, the plot is according to our interpretations. Females are having higher test scores in comparison to male. And the difference is 
the differences of uh, where is the value yeah the differences of 2.2 while in case of training the difference is 9.4 let's see you can see uh, it is almost 84.5 and here it is 82 point something so it, the, the difference is 2.2 and when we talk about training the difference is almost uh, let's check it again 9.4 the difference is almost about 9.4 yeah you can see here this is somewhere around 78 and this is 88 so the difference is large you can also get the interaction effects see here male female the red one is for the treated and the blue one is for the control So this was all about how to run generalized linear mixed models in SPSS. For more videos on advanced data analysis using SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias, link given in the description box.